Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the Split Warlord campaign. So, for those of you who have been, well, observative in the very first few seconds, you will see that we have a bit of an installation over here. Now, I do want to address this base during uh, this particular episode. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, this one uh, rattlesnake is going to be enough. Uh, otherwise, it might be a lot of shooting for this poor, poor bastard. What else did actually happen? Let's get the hot back and let's get into map because I have two ships over here that are docked. So I left you guys off while uh, we were actually on our way. I think it's this guy. Yeah, we were tracking this fella. We actually got the Marines over. And it just took too long, and I decided to just do the rest of that off camera because, well, boarding is not the most interesting thing, especially if you do not want to damage your property. Well, it's not really your property at the moment, then, but if you want to get a ship without damage, just let the Marines do the work. It might take up to 20 minutes, up to an, well, an hour, maybe, if you're unlucky. And then I actually spotted another ship, uh, which uh, is part, or it was part, I should say, of the Antigon. It's not anymore, and we're going to be using them. Um, as you can see, the solid distribution over here, yeah, we are definitely not having the best of time with those absolute bastards. So we need a game plan, and I think there's only one solution to our problem, and that is we need to start upgrading our ship. Uh, we need to get large ships in here because these mediums, they are just getting a rest. Also, I don't believe the turrets are in a working order. As you can see over here, the turret components are still zero. Which means that the stations that, that, that don't, don't do anything. As you see, 16 shot turrets, it's not doing anything. So annoying, so annoying. We have to change that because we cannot keep relying on the Patriarch's police force to bail us out. That said, we did finish the construction of this solid distribution hub in uh, the family, the free family sectors, and we've started selling our wares to all refineries, silicon refineries, stuff like, well, basically like that. Uh, right now, looking at this, let's go with profit. Uh, we generated 430,000 and we have generated, uh, where are you? Free family, there you go. We're now at negative one. Used to be negative five, it's now negative one. So we've gained uh, plus four actually, which is not bad at all. This will just accumulate over time. Yes, of course, we're going to be building refined metals as well as the silicon wafers factories in here as well because we kind of do need that money we need a relationship, the money, and then once we have those places done, we could potentially get ourselves a few more rattlesnakes and have a bit of a fight with the Antigon over these systems, uh, according to our mission that we received at the start of the game, which would be paving the way, claiming uh, Garden Star 5 would be the very first objective. Uh, of course, the rest will also follow. There's not too much going on in here. But it will definitely bleed these guys a bit drier. Because we will be fortifying this location to make sure that uh, they cannot reinforce the location. And that means that there's only ice. Yeah, there would be only ice. So they definitely will be having some issues. For that, well... You know what, let's start off by selling the acquisitions. Uh, how much? I've not checked, actually, how much we could potentially get from these. Can we upgrade this to a bare minimum? That's 800,000. Usually that's a bit funny, though. Uh, quickly check that out. That looks fine. That looks... See? Cargo. Why would you keep one cargo drone? <laughs> Makes no sense. Uh, we'll just leave it the way it is. So that's 800,000. Let's order that to be done. That means that this guy is going to be doing the exact same thing. Which is also 800,000. Well, this is the this is the cheapest. 
850. And then do you also... Ha yeah, also one cargo drone remains. Why? Why would you do that? Makes no sense in my brain. So once that's done, we're going to be transferring these guys over that are currently in here. And they will be... Did I fill up my Dreams of Audacity already? I kind of did. So we'll most likely transfer them to the Milkman. Because the Milkman is kind of a bit... Well, it has been distributing our troops. Don't really see anything on the Xenon over here. I actually, I say that. Look at this fleet. <laughs> that looks gorgeous. I love it. Way to go. Oh, man. Did I miss a K? Oh, no. Come on, game. Should have warned me for that. Anyhow, let us quickly get in here. Let us... I'm... So... The problem is what I have with this, is the AI is an absolute genius. They will fly way too close to a station, and then everything will start flying. So I kind of do, for the first initial wave of it, I do want this ship to be under my command. Yeah, I think that would be best. And let's eyeball this damn station down here. Dealing with the kach. Ugh, disgusting. Disgusting. So, I'm going to fly closer. That's a bit of a, uh, a chore. And I'll uh, I'll definitely see you when we're close enough to fire. Which will most likely be, uh, I believe, out of the top of my mind, 6.8 kilometers. Okay, so we're actually nearing the 10 kilometers now. And the plasma turrets should be the very first turrets to start firing, even before the main weapons. I hope. Let's see what happens. Did I activate them? It should have been. Let's get a bit closer than that. Right, there we go. This should be enough. Oh, a bit close. See that? See that two dots? Almost there. There you go. That's... This is as far as we'll get it. We'll start shooting it. Did I activate my turrets? They are disarmed. Interesting. Why are you not disarming? Come on, man. Arm yourself. We'll just keep firing it. And this is... Few of them. Oh yeah, that's going to be a while, I guess. And it seems the plasma turrets aren't doing anything either. Are they? Why are you not firing? Capital ship plasma should be set up. The way I wanted it. So the entire barrage actually did 5% damage. Which is... Well, not enough. A lot of other flyers in the sky right now. We are definitely... Getting attacked. Not that I mind. We'll just be here for a while. Eventually, we'll start hitting those ships a bit more. Because this needs to go. You have cost me a lot of money and a lot of grief. And I hate you for it. Let's take a look. Shields are not even getting hit. So, yeah. Oof. I will most likely just really quickly... Check out if those two ships are done. Okay, so he's waiting. Let's transfer you. Work somewhere else for me. Uh, on the milkman. And you're going to be as a marine. Because that's what I've been using for. And then we are going to be selling. The ship. Seven point. Oh, that is gorgeous. That is fantastic. I love it. All right, let's uh, do another barrage real quick. We might actually get a bit closer at some point. But right now, I want the, the, the turrets to focus on any of the fighters. And 
we got one forager. Wow. Are you kidding me? Yeah, one of them. Good amount of ships in the, in the sky, which is fine. Let's go quickly check out... Actually, we've got two of them. This would actually not have been a bad exercise for the other pilot. Let's, let's quickly just take him. Thanks for your help. Awesome. You just keep keep paying me. 120,000. That's fine. You will just go... I want you to attack that base. But I want to see he's instantly moving. And that is what I don't need. Plasma turrets are starting to shoot though. But he's not utilizing the main battery. And I think that's a mistake. Unless he's doing more damage. Let's take a look. 86... He's going to be flying in circles until everything around him died. We can actually maybe level this guy up. So as long as we don't take damage to the shields and the hull. Where the hell are you going? Why would you? I don't get that. You gotta love the AI, right? Right now, he's... Oh, he's boosting. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, hell no. Get the hell out of there. You're fired. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Like, what are you doing, dude? Repair drones are going out. They might be destroyed. Seriously? What was this guy thinking? Like, that's starting to take out my weapons? He's like, oh man. Forager. Definitely don't care about a forager though. Oh wait, I'm too high. There is the damn installation. Repair drone. Repair drone. Okay, how far Not are we? Installation. Yeah, we're way too far away. Why would you do that? Tractor in all of the junk. Okay, we'll go to 6.6. That's fine. Uh, a bit further. So stupid. Uh, it means that I will have to keep control over this particular ship. Otherwise, he is actually going to be boosting to get distance. And that's one thing I don't need. Let's quickly sell this particular ship. After we transfer this guy, you are going to be working on the milkman as a marine. And then we'll quickly sell him over here as well for 4.1. Yeah, not bad. We uh, we just made, I uh, think, 7, 4, 11, 12, 13 million, something like that. We can do another barrage. We are currently at 80. One of these modules will eventually explode. Like I said, it will take some time. But, you know, it is what it is. We can't rush destroying these bases because they have been quite a nuisance. So, now we have more money. And we're destroying this base, which is a huge problem for us. Now, question remains... Yeah, and we're also getting paid for this, so this is absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. I think we're going to be starting construction on the silicon wafer, the refined metals, and potentially the solar power plant in the free families space. But that also means that I'll be placing more satellites uh, after this particular episode, because... The trade ships... Do we have trade ships on this? Uh, yeah, we do. I don't have them in the uh, the Star Wars campaign, actually. Do I... I kind of do. Let's make sure that we have set up... Uh, configure it station. Did I... 
that's no okay. We definitely want this. Is going to be refined metals, silicon wafers. And the latest addition is the solar power plant, who is at the moment still under construction. I had one solar power plant on that. That proved to be not enough. So he's currently building the second one, so I'll wait. I think one of my target, my, yeah, look at this. Look, over here, repair drone, busted. See, and, and instantly it cross eyed my ship. So mean. So damn mean. Now, we can actually get close to the second all of these ships are gone. I, I don't mind if he goes out of its way to do some funky stuff. On the other hand, I do want to get the loot. And to get the loot, the additional pay. I kind of do need to pilot this myself because I have the police license and not particularly this pilot, which is kind of weird in my opinion. And we could also mod this ship. Especially the main... The main cannon would really benefit with range. Uh, mounting defense by in the family crit. Oh. Uh, mounting because of what, precisely? Weird. That's fine. Uh, we're at 66. So, uh, because this is extremely exciting, uh, let us just meet up when this station is about to go boom. Okay, well, I've been shooting now at 48. I think it is time that we start placing down those stations over here. I want to keep them in close proximity of this distribution center. Because I, I don't trust their defense against the split. Also, apparently I did miss uh, a system somewhere in here. We'll, we'll definitely look for it. Uh, but for now, let's quickly take a look. Uh, the ore is a 4x4, 4x5, solar power plant is a bit higher than that. So we'll go with a, let's go with a, just, just a regular 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Uh, just so we have plenty of room and we don't have to, well, goof around with that. So let's go over here. Place you down there. Buy license, continue, and this is going to be the refined metals. Uh, we have our base. Let me eyeball this real quickly. Is that it? No, that's not it. I think it's this one over here, but I am not particularly sure at the moment. But it's fine. Let's uh, start this one. This is a... Wait, do they have one dock over here? That's never going to be enough. Well, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, we need a... A construction ship. You okay? That's one. Two point eight. Uh, let's quickly do another barrage. Pick up uh, the loot. I've been doing that. We have actually been getting quite a nice amount of payment. Do not destroy these if you do not have a police license. Get the police license. It will pay itself back quite a bit. Okay, let's quickly do the other base. New plot. 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Place you down over there. Buy license, continue. Oh, it's this base. Yeah, it has these two weird looking things. That's fine. Uh, silicon wafer. It is... You know, it's fine. Who cares? Okay. Uh, Wait. That is not silicon wafers. Not in the slightest. Oh, hell no. 
You know, I absolutely messed that up right now. This is silicon wafers. Um, yeah. Silicon wafers. Override plan. Yes, please. And quickly drop that over here. So that can actually get started. It's fine. Confirm changes. Get in the money. Get in the builder. So that's two factories. We'll wait until the energy production is done. Actually, do we need to? Yeah, it looks like this. It's wonky. I know. I know. Um, energy. Energy. Cells. That's new. There we go. Uh, let's do another barrage. Thanks for your help. Uh, we get another 270,000, which is okay in my book. I think that might be it for the ships. Let's uh, quickly check that out. Yeah, do I dare to send the AI in? Um. Yeah, actually. No. <laughs> I don't want to lose the uh, the dream of audacity. Uh, because of the stupidity. I, I wouldn't mind if I had... A at two more rattlesnakes at its side, so they could definitely shoot the living crap out of the station. But I do not have that. So this is the only large ship I have so far. And I do Thanks not want to lose it. That's another 60,000. So far, I am actually surprised by the amount of money that goes into these stations. I would have actually expected it to be a bit higher than that. Uh, keep in mind that we still need a few ships to do the, um, the trading. But now, let us quickly take a look at this. So, the power factory has a four, uh, 474. New plot. 474. Create that. Just place you down over there. File license. Continue. Energy cell. Like so. I kind of do want to stop flip, start flipping this the right angle. Which I think is 180. Yeah, 180. There you go. Line you there. Which is fine. It's it it's not a huge amount of energy, but it it's it's fine. 3.8 million. Get ourselves another builder in there. This will take a while to complete. But it should deliver us with a good amount of money as well as a relation increase. So this is uh, it's going to look nice. These stations are doing perfectly. I love them. Let's uh, do another barrage. Do I dare that to get in a bit closer and see if the turrets can start shooting as well? Yeah, okay, the plasmas are now starting to fire. You can see that on the left. Uh, where's the mouse? Over there. Oh, wrong button. If we get closer, the others might be able to fire as well. Okay, so the very first explosions are getting started. I was actually getting shot by the station lasers, as you can see on my shields. Uh, but right now we need to pick a new target, otherwise it won't do anything, and that is going to be it. Okay, so we've made it actually to the final 2% of this damned installation, and this barrage should, in theory, just destroy it. And it actually did get destroyed. That was, once again, very anticlimactic since there was no explosion whatsoever. I honestly said, we, we spent about 35 minutes. Well, that's just five minutes for me tinkering with stations and ships. 30 minutes to destroy this installation. And there's installations are way higher 
uh, way larger than this one. So I would definitely not advise you to do this with one ship. And if you do do it with one ship, make sure you pilot it yourself. Otherwise, this thing will take out your large ship. So we have about 8 million left. We need to pre-order some uh, ships for the uh, stations that are currently being constructed. And we will use what is left. Mm, what shall we do with that? Let me know in the comment section what you would want me to do with that. We can go more product uh, production or we can uh, start saving up maybe for a second rattlesnake. Might be um, do a bit of uh, killing the Argon Federation stuff. Although, let's be realistic here. We will not be taking over an entire sector with two large ships. The Argon Federation will send reinforcements to, uh, to Guidance Star 5 or whatever. So I'm expecting it to be bit more of an engagement than uh, I, I'm letting out it will be I think I don't think two is going to be enough anyway this is done uh this I wanted to do for a long time because it destroyed some of my stations is there money in here let's take a look Yes, there is. There is a new freighter. What will you do? I think it is time that we go back. At least let the rattlesnake go back to its hunting grounds. And we'll quickly queue up a few ships. So that guidance over there. Autopilot. Autopilot because of reasons. Yeah, he is. He's... Are you going to be buying from uh, my POS? Maybe. Maybe. We do need to have a lot of work with this at, at some point. The advanced electronics is a damn nightmare. 225 we need. Do we, Can we find them real quickly? Oh my. Ah, uh, that doesn't look good. The... Electronics is problematic, to say the least. It's 37, uh, 73. Maybe over here. Oof. Oh, that's not good. What will we need for the advanced electronics? Uh, microchips and quantum tubes. What do we need for the microchips? Silicon wafers. We could go into that direction. What do we need for quantum tubes? Graphene and superfluid coolant. Graphene is easy. Superfluid coolant. Helium. Yeah, that, that's actually quite a bit. That would be three more factories. So it, it's not e something that I can potentially do right now. Also, relation with the uh, free families is now at three. This is working nicely. Hopefully, the materials will get in quickly. Graphene, oh, but this is actually being constructed. This is getting it. This is getting it. Okay, so how many ships do I need? So I'm going to be taking a look at what I have so far. And that has been proven to be enough. Yeah, I think it should be enough. Even though the uh, the ore is a bit on the, uh, the low end. So we need four mining ships. And we need six trading ships. Can we just get them over here? On a low preset. 
Problem is I want the combat engines. And not the traveling engines. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame that that actually requires me to have 10. Uh, so we might as well just quickly get them over here. I say quickly, but that might be a while. Uh, before we actually see them. Low preset. Uh, get some flares. Get three crew members. It's a bit more expensive. And even though the advanced... Oh man, engine parts and advanced composite. Oh, why game? Why? I need four. Confirm. Then I also need six boa transporters on the low preset. Pretty much the same. Don't need a marine in this. I've not seen the AI use any sort of marine stuff. And I would really love for that to happen. Uh, a six. That's all of my cash. Yeah, there we go. We're broke again. Quickly get some more money back. Otherwise, my uh, my freighters are starting to complain. So, what good did it do to actually change the advanced trading fleet in here? So, let's quickly take a look. Uh, the first large ship is making 875. Let's say 900,000 an hour. How about you? Six. Oof. Yeah, that's slow. That's the problem, right? Six as well. So that's uh, that's about almost two million. A bit less. Ah, oh, man. I would have hoped it would be more, but, you know, what can I do? Also, apparently, I am still attacking. Uh, let's definitely remove that order. So where is that large ship going? I kind of didn't keep track. So, I'm going to assume it's either in my blind spot, traveling over here, or it already went through this particular gate, maybe hiding somewhere over there. So, I definitely want to keep a close eye on that, because if we can get another 8 million, it would be the very first step. Of getting a second rattlesnake. Or maybe. Maybe. Just maybe. We should be going for some fighters for our rattlesnake. So the Jaguar Scouts is going to be torpedo ships, right? See, I told you that there would, this would happen. Uh, so that would be torpedo ships. Because they're fast and they can deliver a load pretty nicely. But we do need some defense uh the chimera on the high preset is quite nice actually one shield is the problem like it's just as much paper i used to use this uh, it's it has these weapons i think i want to change that like we're using the tau accelerator is the AI any good with the boson lens? If they are, then this might be interesting. But it's horribly expensive. Maybe we should give him one plasma cannon just for when you're out of sector. Then they will likely always hit. And they would still pack a point. We could also give them a missile launcher. But that would be quite annoying to deal with the supply of these also i'm never sure which one i should take and i quite like the idea of not oh, actually none of these can they have smart missile launchers on these tracking launcher uh, always mark one the, the price for two additional missiles is just not worth it emp is against shields uh cluster is, is just like the tau Heavy guided is a bit slower. I think the smart missile is... Uh, or the swarming missile. Swarming missile is funny. There's multiple of them. But 3.6... Oh wait, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh yeah, that, that's, that's this thing. 
quickly change this one up then. And then you can be... Tau. Accelerator Mark 1. 3.8 million. Oh my god. 20 missiles. No way we can... Have the Rattlesnake distribute this. So missiles on these ships are probably... Not ideal. Maybe get a pulse laser in there. So let me know in the comments what you would potentially do. Because we can still get 10 ships on the Rattlesnake. No yeah, nobody cares. Okay, where are we currently? Yeah, I saw that by zooming out. I quickly saw that he's over there. Okay, well, unfortunately... I'm not going to be finding that guy. So, five. what I'll do is... I'm, uh, it's going to be a bit shorter than usual. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to be yapping for another 12 minutes just to get to an hour of recording. That's bullshit. And... What we will do is... I'm going to be watching the comment section about those ships and see what uh, you guys can come up with. Uh, we're going to be building up money and we will build up these factories and we'll be getting rich slowly slowly still slowly we don't have hull parts we don't have electronics those are quite expensive i cannot get the advanced electronics which is stupid also means one other thing guys if we start going into advanced electronic we could potentially become very rich because apparently the split patriarch and the free, free families just didn't give a crap about it. Even though you kind of do need them on every ship. So we could potentially just like look at this and say, okay, well, looking at this, uh, say the middle line would be with the R. The split are struggling with advanced composite, advanced electronics, engine parts, hull parts, scanning array, and weapon components. That could be a guideline to getting into a position where we'll eventually have our own shipyard. Drone components as well, by the looks of this. Yeah, drone components. How about you? Apparently this ship, this, this one needs methane. Go away. Go away. What do you think you're doing? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.